What is going on people? It's a wanted turtle and today we're doing a Pokemon video. We're doing something a little bit different. We have a I wouldn't call it vintage box, but it's from 2017, so it's older than stuff that we typically open. This is a uh, legacy evolution pin collection box <laughs> a lot of words and it seems like it has a lot of features a lot of evolutions that came in kind of, I can't remember if gen 2 or gen 3 but I feel like in Pokemon Go a lot of them you need like those special stones to evolve them in addition we have some booster packs uh, some blisters that we got from Easter so like uh, something that my girlfriend uh, their family does like Easter baskets and stuff like that so they something she just put in my basket so um, just kind of like a fun little Easter family thing and so we'll jump into those as well and then obviously we have our burning shadows pack as well to find our rainbow rare Charizard okay let's get into the opening guys okay as far as get like raw number of promos uh, this box is not bad but it does have like six promos in Politoed, Crobat, Slowking, Blossom, Blissey, and then Steelix. And um, there's only one, one EX, and then we do have five packs. We have a Sun and Moon base, two evolutions, and then a Steam Siege, and then, oh, two Steam Siege. So, uh, honestly, I'm starting to warm up to XY just whenever we open, like, a full art. It's like, oh, man, I've never seen this card. So, uh, I, I feel like I'm not as negative as I was before. And then we have a Burning Shadows pack and three Blisters, two Celestial Stone, one Forbidden Light. So, I will crack into these ones and then we'll start opening some of the booster packs um as always if you guys do want to support this channel definitely you can do so very easily by simply hitting that like button down below um as always it does kind of raise awareness for the channel it helps the uh videos basically get viewed kind of like you know when people when you first go to youtube.com and there's like those suggested videos so hitting that like button does allow us to get more exposure so do me a favor and smash that button for me all right, let's just get this last pack out of this. I don't know, I call these blisters. I'm not sure what else to call them. These sleeve things. And then we'll jump into Steam Siege to start. All right, hope everyone had a good Easter. And uh, yeah, managed to did pick up some booster packs from a little Easter celebration. We'll start with Steam Siege and Gardevoir Spear Link. Always a big fan of that. Uh, Klefki, our armored armor fossil Shilden, Chimchar, Bergmite, Clauncher, C dot. I feel like this series, this uh, generation, had a very different style of art. Uh, Steelix Spirit Link, and then a Ampharos. I do like that art. I'm just waving to. Can't tell what that is. Maybe it's a boat or something. So, uh, not not like a crazy good pull, but I do like the cards that we did get. All right, on to the next pack of Steam Siege. Okay, we got a Zuelius. This is the one I can never remember. A Driftblim, Gardevoir Spirit Link again. Wouldn't mind getting a Mega Gardevoir. Nosepass, Dino, Ponyta, Meryl, a Ninja Boy for the reverse, and then a Armaldo for a regular rare. All right, we got two evolutions. Wouldn't mind getting that Mega Blastoise alongside the Mega Charizard. I expect the Mega Charizard, the, um, the kind of like the secret rare version, definitely to be the biggest hit in this set. We got a Machoke, full heal, potion, Magikarp, Electabuzz, Ah, all this vintage art. Growlithe, Nidoran, a reverse coughing, and then a oh, Troll Dug Trio. Alright, on to the next one. On to the Charizard pack art. Oops. Alright, we got Nido Reno. Pidgeot, Spirit Link, Porygon, Rattata, Caterpie, Magnemite, Voltorb, Sentru, Electabuzz, Regular Rare, and then a Beedrill. Oh, double, double trolls. It's 
far as the base set or the evolutions go. Let's go into our Sun and Moon base. Yeah, so I guess that really shows that this this box uh, is really isn't that old, but it was kind of like beat up. Um, so I didn't feel the need to keep it in my my collection. Like it took me a while just to open it up, just because of how beat up it was. And it was kind of an odd shape compared to the other stuff. So compared to a lot of the collection boxes, so it's just kind of a, a hassle to store. We got a Dupiter, Marini, Stuffle, a Togemaru, a Lowland Grimer, nice. Skarmory, it's not a bad art for a bird that I feel like is very underwhelming always. Ooh, here we have we have a Tauros GX. I think this is the one that as it takes more damage, it deals more damage. Uh, Rage, it's kind of hard to read. This tech does 10 more damage for each damage counter. You have 180, it's not bad. Horn attack for 60 is not very strong. And this tech does 30 damage for each damage counter. So I do feel like his Mad Bull is quite strong. Uh, the rest of him... It's not great. However, all you do need to slap is a DCE on him. So he is pretty easy to use. I think we can safely say that. Even if he's not the strongest Pokemon out there. Ah, uh, let's go with Forbidden Light. I feel like a set that was never that crazy. However, I feel like we do get pretty good pulls from it. I'm always confused these days as to which side the code is actually on. We got Fire Energy, Frogadier, Spupa, <laughs> some keys, that's just so weird. Clownsher, Froakie, Esper, Hone Edge, Random Sword, Noibat, a Tyrant, that's pretty cute, a little dinosaur, and then a Infernape Hollow. Burst Punch, Bones Axe Point is not burned. Mm. And let's go into Burning Shadows. Will today be the day we get that Rainbow Rare Charizard? All right, we got a Darkness Energy, Wobbuffet, Plumeria, Seedra, Inke, Stuffle, Crabrawler, Morlul, Sandy Gas, so weird, a Pampor for the reverse, and then a Araquanid for the regular rare. All right, now we got two packs of Celestial Storm. Let's see, Rayquaza pull art maybe? That would be a super sick pull. All right, we got a Fighting Energy, Huntail, Rovile, Energy Switch, Onyx. Bagon, Bellsprout, Vampy, Clampro, a Combuskin for the reverse, and then a Celesteela for the rare. That's a crazy high cost. Um, and if the total both players prize of cards is six, this thing can be used for just one metal energy. Wish that was a little bit easier to use and could be used for probably more than one attack, then I feel like that'd be a super strong attack. But as written, nah. All right, on to our last pack of Celestial Storm. And for the opening, can we kind of clutch up? Uh, overall, we did only get one GX, but we did get some pretty good hollows. Dunsparce, Wismer. I like that one with the beware in the background. Cacnea, Love Disc. Trico, Skitty. Chincho for the reverse. And then a Kartana. So we did pull a couple Ultra Beasts, but none of them are the super strong ones that we are looking for. So, not a bad opening. We did pull one GX, and then we do have six promo cards from our Legacy of Evolution box. And, uh, yeah, so if you did enjoy that video, definitely hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for future content. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.